Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Ijeoma Fab. So today I'll be showing you how to make a bell sleeve. So I'll be folding my fabric on bias to achieve this. So after folding, this is what I have. So the next thing to also consider is how full do you want the bottom part to be. So my client doesn't want it to be too full. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to place my tape where I'll get half of my round armhole plus one inch. Half of the round armhole I'm working with is nine inches plus one inch seam allowance. So that will give me 10 inches. So I'm going to place my tape around here. So I have 10 inches here and I will draw a straight line. So please note if you have to do any marking, please do it on the wrong side of your fabric. I'm marking on the right side of the fabric for the sake of this tutorial. So from this line which I have here, I'll be stepping upwards by 4 inches. So I'm going to mark 4 inches here. So I'm going to connect to this point. So this new line I have here will serve as the starting line. Why this is going to serve as the sleeve cap. So from this line, which is my starting line, I'm going to mark the sleeve length. And the sleeve length I'm working with is 21 inches plus my sewing allowance inclusive. So the next thing I will do now is to connect the markings with a straight line. So I'm going to draw a diagonal line this way. So on this line, I'll mark the midpoint. So this is the midpoint of this diagonal line. So from here, I'm just going to draw the armhole curve. So I'm going to draw a curve to meet with this point this way. And I'll go this way. So after achieving the armhole curve, the next thing now is to cut this out and our sleeve is ready. So you could go ahead to measure what you also have here to make sure it corresponds with what you have on the armhole plus your same allowance inclusive. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut this out. So I'm going to use this now to cut the other sleeve panel. So I want the sleeve to be fully lined. I've gone ahead to cut the lining for the sleeve. So this option could totally be skipped. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to sew the lining to the sleeve. So I'll be turning the hem of the sleeve with the lining for both panels. So after turning with the lining, this is how it looks like on the inside. I also went ahead to sew up the one inch seam allowance and I slipped it over to the front and gave it a good press. So this is how it looks like on the outside. So our sleeve is practically ready. So the next thing to do now is to attach this to the dress or the garment you're making. So I'll be doing that and I'll show you how it looks like. 